Hello, Alan Rule here. Um, something that's been making the rounds online is this girl named Nala. Nala is a former OnlyFans, I guess, model, I guess, um, content creator, we'll say. And she has announced that she's deleted her account. She's come to Jesus Christ, baptized and all. I have a few thoughts on this. One, I'm happy she's not doing it anymore. And by the way, she made millions of dollars doing it. Millions of dollars, you know, giving pictures of herself naked to a bunch of young men or old men or women even, you know, you know, they do that today too. And my thoughts are, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled she has turned away from this life of sin. <clears throat> But there was a response by one Laura Loomer that I want to talk about. Laura Loomer, Loomer is a a conservative. That word doesn't even have any meaning anymore. E. Michael Jones is right. <clears throat> but she had some very nasty words for Nala. And I just want to say, if you want to say that Nala is like, oh, a couple months ago she's showing her boobs for money to people online. Now she's on a celebrity speaking tour, like on interview by Michael Knowles, I fully get that criticism. I fully get that criticism. If you say she's grifting, maybe she is grifting. I'd rather have her doing that though, than doing her only fan stuff. But I'm going to read a tweet by Laura Loomer. Um, okay. Here's the tweet. These OnlyFans girls can pray, in quotation marks, their slutty behavior away all they want. They will never be respectable no matter how much they cry to God. Praying to be a respectful <clears throat> person doesn't work once you do sex, sex work. It's best that we shun women like this from society forever. Wow, feel the love right there from Laura Loomer. So, ah, my throat is... <clears throat> so now, the problem with Laura Loomer, she's not a Christian, she's a Jew. Now, I don't know how seriously she takes the Jewish faith, but at least, I'm going to say one positive thing about this tweet. Praying to be a respectful person doesn't work once you do sex work. So she knows that sex work is very bad. Um, the only problem is she thinks these people are beyond redemption, even if they repent and quit the lifestyle. Um, of course, as a Jew, she does not, she didn't grow up with the parable of the prodigal son, but she probably grew up reading this verse in Genesis, which is one of their books. Genesis 4, verse 6. The Lord said to Cain, why are you angry and why is your countenance fallen? If you do well, will you not be accepted? And if you do not do well, sin is crouching at the door. Its desire is for you, but you must master it. And sometimes, <clears throat> I apologize. Oh, man, I'm coming down with something. Sometimes it takes longer for them to master it. She obviously went through the darkness before she came to the light. Again, I'm perfectly okay with saying she shouldn't be on this celebrity speaking tour when only a couple months ago she's showing her boobs online for money. I get that. What I don't get is this horrific treatment from Laura Loomer. These people... It's best that we shun w w women like this from society forever. So, yes, sex work is a grave sin. And, um, but there's, n there's no chance of becoming right with God or becoming a respectable person. I mean, 
this is pretty harsh, you know, and I know that Laura Loomer is not Christian. She's a Jew. I, I don't know how seriously she takes the Jewish faith, whether she actually goes to a synagogue on a regular basis or just does the holidays or or things like that. <clears throat> Either way, if, if I had to guess, I don't think she takes it too seriously. However, however, I, I just want to say, for me, I think of the parable of the prodigal son you know as soon as the prodigal son came back we didn't sit uh, like the, the the it's not like it's like all right we'll accept you on these conditions and then you're okay with us or you're on probation it's not it, it it's welcome home praise god you're home and she should feel love that she's repented of that lifestyle Again, you can criticize her for going on these shows doing speaking gigs. Probably she shouldn't be doing that. But maybe she thinks she can influence some other people who are, are doing OnlyFans and are kind of like on the fence. Uh, they're like, okay, maybe, maybe I should quit. So she thinks she could probably get some people out of it. Now, what we need to do is pray for, for Nala and, and hope that she continues on this path. And I just want to say something about L L Laura Loomer here. Uh, the thing, she thinks sex work is so contemptible that it's, if, if you do it, you're done. It's like, I'm never going to have an ounce of respect for you. Um, no matter how much you pray to God and, and confess your sins. Let me just share a story. Of course, I work in um, an industry that's very up and down, up and down, feast or famine. And a few years back, this is prior to COVID, there was a downturn in the economy and a lot of layoffs. And I knew a girl in my industry who got laid off. And she resorted to doing sex work. Not only fans, but she did like escorts self. Men would pay to sleep with her. And I was talking to her one day because this lady has a son who is about seven or eight at the time and he has autism. And I'm like, does your son know what you do? Then she says, like her eyes got all watery. She's like, no. And she broke down in tears. She was so ashamed of what she did. But she did this to get cash. And she didn't make millions of dollars like Nala. She, The vast majority of people who do sex work only get enough kind of like check to check. Although they don't get paychecks. Um, I felt bad for this girl. Now, that does not mean that what she did was right. But they need to know, people who are doing sex work and, and, and porn actors and actresses and, 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 and OnlyFans and all this stuff, that that our side will care for them and l l show them love and hope for their repentance to join their side. Let's put faith away for a second and talk purely pragmatism take Christianity and Judaism and put them to the side. If you read the tweet on X, L Laura Loomer knows that sex work is wrong and abominable. But what we want is people to come out of it. Apparently, Laura Loomer is not going to respect them anyway. But if they know that our side is going to have nothing but scorn for them, if they come out of that, that lifestyle, um, what incentive is there for them to quit that and join our side? Absolutely nothing. So I just hope that Laura Loomer can learn to have a bit more grace and see that, okay, these people have quit something evil, and they want to join our side now. God bless them. Again, I'm totally 
okay with you saying she shouldn't be giving all those talks. I'm okay with that. But the fact that she pours all this scorn is is something else. Uh, pray for all the young girls who are currently caught up in sex work and the men as well. Um, and all I'm going to say to that is pray for Laura, pray for Nala, and know that if you're a sex worker, I can only speak for myself. If you're a sex worker and you want to repent of that lifestyle and turn to God, know that, that I will support you. I will support you. I'll, I'll, I'll treat you like a sister in Christ. And yeah. So that's all I wanted to say about that. I hope you guys are doing well and God bless.